No, 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 but each one is how many antennas? Yeah, they're little and oh, oh, yeah, we figured 36, they were 36, right? yeah. 36 in each one. Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. Anyway, first it does its discovery mode, which you can yeah. see it'll start on antenna zero, which is this one up here. Okay. It'll the go through and it'll check all the antennas and record the signal strength for each one. It's really slow because it averages signal strength, mm -hmm. and so you have to wait for it to take an average before switching to the next antenna. Mm -hmm. So each LED tells you what which antenna is working in the moment, and then at the end it makes like a study to see which one has a strong signal, and then the LED that has a strong signal, it just jumps on it. And it's outputting what signal strength it has. I see. Here. But then it will home in onto that yeah. particular one. That's the it one just, I did chose. Right. It just it just chose to connect to which one? Number. Oh, number two. On that, <laughs> that one. one. Yeah, that's we have, amazing. Well, we've got bouncing around all over the place. Yeah, there's balance. The, that's the other thing, too. There's oh. waves that bounce, so it's better when you're doing a field, yeah. open field, where you don't have any uh, any Inter interference. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So thank you. It's made from like five miles. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can see the LED switching. You'll check the left, right, and then oh, pick I one. Left, switch, right, yeah. and then pick one. Mm -hmm. Very <laughs> I didn't realize that you said you got outside. Yeah, long range. They said you got outside. Yeah, we're, the, the timing worked out uh, such that we did it last weekend. And uh, <laughs> no, yeah. I see. We never, uh, I never saw this LED yeah. part. Yeah. Of it, uh, right. Right. Because yeah, the practice good. final exam, uh, final presentation right. was right. last Thursday, right? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they didn't have the. Yeah. yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, okay. Very good. <laughs> Let's see, I saw three of them. Okay, say, what is your name? <laughs> Chris Mayer, <Okay>. Social Security. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> interview. So what do you think about the work? Uh, it, it turned out very well. I think that uh, Zach and Hugo worked really hard, and, and uh, they, they're leaving us with something that we can use. So I think next time we'll, we'll have a project that builds on their work. Okay, so that, uh, uh, so can you explain that, well, you are a company that is a sponsor in Hugo and is uh, yeah. the name of the company? The, the name of the company is a Space and Naval Warfare System Center, so, so uh, Space and Naval Warfare is uh, often truncated to Spaywar and it's a naval R&D lab down here in uh, Point Loma, uh, San Diego. and. Um, uh, the project is a proof of concept for the Navy to, s to show the use of, of commercial off-the-shelf radios uh, to create long-distance tactical lens. Thank you.